guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm gonna to be checking out boxing for the Intellivision. And no, not this boxing, uh, which is, you know, the their original signature title boxing, uh, you know, during the time when they, they got into a lot of the sports titles. Um, you know, boxing was one of my favorite games when I was a kid. Now the problem with this one is, the only problem with it, I, I think, is that it's a two player game. Uh, two player only. There's no computer player. There's no way you can play this by yourself. I mean, sure, you could sit there and just wail on your opponent who does nothing, who just stands there. Uh, but that's not a lot of fun now, is it? Um, but, you know, this this was a great version. I really like this one. I, I played this a lot when I was a kid with my friends. We always played boxing. We used to even, like, argue who got to be what, what color of player because they all have their own little stats and all that stuff. It, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, but... The version I'm going to be playing is actually, um, well, I guess it's Rock'em Sock'em. That's what they ended up calling it, Rock'em Sock'em, like the, that little uh, game with the two robots that fight each other. Um, and it's funny because the, the characters in this, they actually kind of do look like those. But this is also like the Super Pro version. Um, I do have a Super Pro Hockey, the uh, slap shot Hockey, which is the same concept. So basically this game that I'm going to be playing is this game. But they've someone's gone in and and added extra code to it to add in extra features. So now you actually have these different rounds you can play on um, with different skill levels. But mainly the, the the big change is that now you actually have a computer player, so you can actually do a one player game. And it's the same with this one, this the slap shot uh, hockey. Um, I don't I, I actually don't even have the original hockey game. At least I, I haven't seen it in my collection. Uh, I don't think I ever had the original hockey game, but I know that that's also a two-player game only, uh, whereas Sla Super Pro Hockey um, is has a, a computer player. Uh, so that's really cool. So I ended up finding this online uh, and downloading it, uh, the, the ROM. It was like $10, so pretty reasonable price. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool game. I mean, every, every system had their own boxing game. I, I mean, I got the Atari ones here, like the... Uh, you know, this was boxing. I don't like the, the angle that this is at. It's like top down. Um, but then the Atari also made uh, this one, which is similar to this one. A little bit anyways. Uh, but no, I, I always enjoyed this game. So I thought it'd be worth, you know, downloading it and um, giving it a shot. So anyways, let's check out Rock'em Sock'em Boxing on the Intellivision. Okay, so let's get this game going. So I have my LTO Flash cart up and running. Um, I put the game in my homebrew folder just so I know where it was. And there it is. Oop. There we go. Intelligent Vision presents Rock'em Sock'em Super Pro Boxing. Copyright 2021. Um, so I got the original overlay in my controller. Now that's what the great thing too is that this is pr because it's pretty much the same game um, the overlay is the same, the, uh, all, you know, all that's still the same. So you could just use your original, uh, overlay for this. Uh, so how many boxers? We got one or we got two. So that would be, put us into the two player mode, which we don't want because there's no other player here. So how many boxers? Just one. Now here's all those difficulty levels. Um, it basically is just, you know, there's club fight Olympic. What else is there? Pro, super pro. It's just how long the uh, matches last and, and how hard things are. Um, I'll just go with club fight. Now we get to select our man. Uh, so each one has their own traits. Let's see. Well, we got the blue guy. Strong defense. Uh, see, th this wasn't in the original either. It didn't tell you uh, anything about the, pl the player. You had to read that in the manual. So it's cool that they added that in there. So he's got strong defense. He's got defensive power. Exceptional stamina. Balanced fighter, another balanced fighter, and unpredictable. So uh, let's see, what should we go with? How about let's go with the, uh, it's always hard to decide. I think I'll just go with uh, this guy. And there's our computer player. So the computer player is always a black the black character, so whatever color you pick, there we go. And another thing that they've changed is they actually added a power bar here. Um, because previously, you know, the original version, there was no indicator as to, um, how well you're doing if you're going to, uh, you know, 
lose the match or, or get knocked out. So this kind of gives you an indicator of, of what's going on with your health. Sort of like in, you know, Mortal Kombat and all the other fighter games, you have your health meter. So, well, he's, he's pummeling me right now, so I'm going to try and... He's got me in the corner. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> he's going Superstar Pro Boxer on me. I'm just going to keep punching him in the neck. I mean, the sounds are all the same. It's, it's pretty much just the uh, audience noise, um, which is fine. I mean, I wouldn't expect to have sound here, like, or not sound, but music here. So, I mean, hearing the, hearing the sound is pretty cool. Maybe I can turn that up so you can hear it. And you got the punch noises. Oh. <laughs> I saw his health meter there was red. Uh, I have to look again. So when I when I got this the uh, and downloaded it, um, it did come with its own manual with all the uh, new features, and I think it did explain how the health bar works. Oh, knocked him out! Come on, there we go. <laughs> He's just laying there. Oh, he got back up. I think you can do the, the if you knock them down in three or three times in the round, I, I think you get the triple knockout. Another fun thing you could do, um, it didn't happen very often, is you can do the double knockout where you knock each other out. <laughs> you can see that in the manual, it, but it's, I think it's hard to, to actually pull that one off. Um, you both pretty much have to like land the, the punch when you're at the same health bar and uh, you both go down and it's and then it could be a double knockout but that doesn't happen too often I like the movement of the of the players they're constantly you know shuffling your feet and stuff rather than just standing there looking at all all stiff and <laughs> not active I mean, yeah, they do kind of, you know, resemble the Rock and Sockham robot. So it was pretty cool that they gave it that name instead of just saying Super Pro Boxing. Oh, oh, oh. Now you do have a, you, you do have a duck option. You can duck. Throw body punches. Headshots. And you could uh, switch between, you know, the right and the left. Of course, you can't really tell based on the graphics if you're doing a left or a right punch. Because, um, you know, it's just not that detailed to give you that, that sort of, uh, you know, it's a little bit hard to see which arm is really punching. I mean, these things are pretty much just shadows. They are not... There's no detail in their faces or their gloves or anything like that. I mean, it would have been... I don't know if they would have been able to do that with, uh, with the Intellivision the way it works uh, to add that much detail. I'm pretty certain that um, each character takes up like four sprites, uh, four sprite graphics. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking anyways, it, that's, that's what it looks like. And uh, the Intellivision only has eight sprites, so... That would make sense that each character is only four sprites. So, I mean, having to add some more detail to them probably wouldn't have been able to, to happen. But that's okay. I mean, we never complained about it when we were kids. I never had I never had a problem with the fact that, you know, you don't see much detail in there. I mean, that's the kind of thing you started expecting to see in, in game, on, you know, ColecoVision and... Nintendo and you know the later systems you'd expect to see more more detailed graphics Punch him in the head punch him in the head Bing <laughs> Of course this is six rounds so Just keep punching him Oh 
not sure what the uh, the contact. Oh, my my uh, thing is slipping out here. My overlay. The, the, the only problem with the overlays on the controller is that sometimes when you know you're you're using them a lot, they could start to slide out. In a game like this too, where you're constantly pushing buttons. Oh. And this this is an easier fighter too uh, that I'm facing. Uh, from what I read in the manual, that uh, the further you get up, uh, if you start playing some of those other ones. Uh, the player gets a lot more difficult to beat. A little bit more strategic fighter. Let's see if I can knock him down now. Just keep punching him in the head. Oh, there we go. I'm not seeing the stars around their head. I don't know if that was... I, don't know, I can't remember now from the original boxing. I remember seeing stars or something going around their head, but maybe it's only when you knocked them out. Or maybe it's only certain times, certain ways you knocked them out. Maybe it's triple knockout or something. I'd have to go back and look at the manual again. Because there was a picture on the box that uh, showed the, the stars around the head. Oh, you've been knocked out. Oh, he got back up. <laughs> Punch him in the head. Oh, oh. Let's see if I can... His, his health bar is blinking red. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's after me. Uh. Try a different punch. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. Got me in the corner. Ah. I was hoping to be able to knock him out one more time. Yeah, I, I kind of wish this was, you know, this was always the case, you know. I would have played this a lot more on my own if I was, you know, when I was a kid. If I could have, you know, played against the computer like that. It's like I said, you know, even when you have friends and stuff, you don't always have them over to when you're playing on your, your system and stuff. So this was always one game that I just couldn't play on my own. I mean, if you really wanted to, like I said, you could you can just sit there and pull on the opponent that does nothing. But what, you know, what, what good is that? <laughs> Come on, knock him out, knock him out. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I like how the audience gets louder and louder, too. Increases the volume of the audience when the play is, you know, getting good. Where? Oh! There we go, there's the stars. <laughs> I knew there were stars or something. So as you can see, there's quite a few new options available. Um, the original game really just gave you the, 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 I, the option of which color each player wants to be. And then you jump right into the boxing match and then whoever fell first, uh, you know, whoever not got knocked out, then the game was over. So having this option of, you know, what kind of tournament almost like you want to go into, uh, you know, how many rounds you want to do, uh, the skill level, and then, you know, just the fact of having a computer player. Uh, really cool. I, re I really enjoyed playing this game. Um, it's probably one I'm going to, you know, play every once in a while. I mean, your fingers do get a little bit tiresome when you're pushing the buttons all the time on it, but, I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, but it's really cool that they did that, that they, they created these, you know, these super pro uh versions of of the original and television games that uh, only had the one player or two player i should say um and i know why that was done i mean it was, the idea was that you're supposed to be playing with the family you're supposed to be playing together and not just supposed to be playing alone but let's be real a lot of us especially older pl people who've been uh playing in this thing for 40 years um you don't have a lot of people around you that, that are going to have the same 
you know, passion of, of wanting to play these old games. So a lot of us are playing by ourselves and, you know, having these these options is cool. One one game that I know people have been keep bringing up uh, from time to time is Utopia. Uh, you know, so I've heard talk about people saying, oh, I'm, I'm going to create a Utopia with the, with the AI player. You know, I, whatever they do to, to make these games, um, you know, they, they take the original and then add in extra stuff. I think that would be really awesome. Even I've considered it myself to try and recreate a, a, a Utopia style game. Um, you know, maybe I will. I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to come up with an idea. But anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's Super Pro Boxing Rock'em Sock'em. Really cool game. Uh, it was only ten dollars. Um, I, I can leave the link down below if you want to go and grab it yourself. But there's a bunch of other ROMs there too that you can download, um, and they're all pretty reasonable priced. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.